Hello, I'm Daniela. In today's video, I'm going to take you through all the steps of my process for framing a painting. Now, I like to use a deep canvas in my paintings. It's one and a half inches deep. It's not a standard three quarter inch or half an inch canvas. I like that substantial quality, particularly on the larger sizes. My overall painting is 24 inches by 30, and I have it in a portrait mode, so it's tall and thin rather than long and wide. The painting is some of the golden pothos plant that I painted based on a patch outside my home. It's a beautiful painting and I loved it, which is kind of unusual for some of my paintings for me to really be enthralled with it. So I wanted to frame it. Now in the past, I've gone to a custom framer, somebody who makes the frames, just a small little shop in my hometown. Since then, I've gone to some bigger box stores to get some paintings framed, and really, I wasn't pleased with the results, particularly for how much I paid for the framing. So I took a chance and went online. I found a company that worked really well for me. I'm not affiliated with the company. They don't give me any discounts. They have no idea who I am. But I ordered a frame that they custom made for me, and it was something that I could install myself, and it worked out perfectly. I wanted to share my experience with you. You may or may not choose to use this company, but it's more the process of completing that picture frame that might work for you. It might be handy to see that it's not something really mysterious to do. What I found was a canvas floater frame. This is a frame that's pre-made. You just drop your canvas into it, attach some screws on the back with some offset clips, and then you have a beautifully framed painting. Now the selection that I found were not for really wide moldings. The frames were beautiful, but they were very slim, very sleek and stylish. And for my needs, this was perfect. If you wanted a larger molding or something really striking, well, this isn't for you. So I went through their website and scrolled through the canvas floating frames. I had something in mind. I wanted something a little unfinished, but not raw wood. I found this beautiful, kind of unfinished white wood. It was perfect for what I wanted. I thought it would complement my painting nicely. I entered in my dimensions and double checked the rabbit. And the rabbit is just the depth of the frame. It was one three quarter inches. My painting was one and a half inches. So I knew this would be perfect. If anything, I want a deeper rabbit than what my painting is. So I added it to my cart and ordered the frame. A week later, the frame arrived packaged very nicely in a box. I took it apart and I could see that it was wrapped inside the box as well. There was no damage to the box and yet inside the box it was wrapped exceptionally well. So there was no damage to the frame and I inspected it very carefully. I looked for any cracks or chips. I was very lucky it came out wonderfully. So from there I took apart all the packaging and I looked at the instruction sheet. It came with four offset clips. These are just little clips, kind of like L-shaped. And you attach that to the stretcher frame on your canvas. So according to the instructions, I put the good side of the painting down on the table, and then I put the good side of the frame on top of the painting. It fit snug, perfect sizing. There's a little bit of a window because not all frames and canvases are the exact size they claim to be. This one worked out perfectly. I then added my four offset clips, just like the instructions said, at the 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock, and I just screwed them into the stretchers on my canvas. I didn't have to screw it into the picture frame. From there, I attached two hanging clips to either side, about a third of the way down, on the frame, and then I put a wire where I knotted the wire on two sides. I could hang it nicely from this wire. All these supplies came with the frame, which was fantastic. So that one price, including shipping, an additional fee for the larger frame, came with the hardware necessary as well. All I had to do was assemble it. I added the frame, took a good look at it, and I was thrilled. I loved it. I would definitely order it again. So this is the final result of my picture hanging in my kitchen. And right outside that window is the patch of golden pothos that inspired the painting. It's perfect and I am thrilled. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for joining me today.